Hi everyone and good day to all. My name is Dr. Sara Katami, a general physician, and I'm here to talk about a case of dysphagia in the Nakoski exam setting. I present this case with problem-based approach, and this video is a part of StarMed Medical Education Programs, and it is strictly and only for educational purposes. The case is a 71-year-old man who was referred to GI department for evaluation of nine months of progressive swallowing difficulties associated with epigastric and chest discomfort. His past medical history is negative for smoking, positive for alcohol consumption, and positive for reflux. Dysphagia is basically difficulty in swallowing, a sensation of difficulty in passage of solids or liquids from the mouth to stomach. Dysphagia is distinguished from other symptoms including odynophagia, which is the pain with swallowing, and globus, which is the sensation of sticking something in throat or chest. It could be chronic or acute. Dysphagia is classified into four major categories, oropharyngeal, esophageal and obstructive, neuromuscular, and functional. This diagram helps us with better approaching dysphagia. Regardless of the case, we need to know first, the symptoms are only with solids or solids and liquids both. It could give us some probable options. And then the next most important question could be, is it intermittent or progressive? Although this algorithm doesn't include all the etiologies for dysphagia, but it helps us with better approaching the case and finding the etiology. Now I want to explain about the etiologies of dysphagia. Just have a summary of different categories in oropharyngeal type, which includes neurological, muscular, and structural. The clinical features basically have difficulty initiating with swallowing, choking or coughing, and nasal regurgitation. The diagnostic test, depending on the cause, could be CT scan, barium swallow, laryngoscopy, and endoscopy. In the esophageal category, we have two types. One is mechanical, which includes rings, webs, peptic stricture, and carcinomas, and neuromuscular type, which is diffuse esophageal spasm, scleroderma, and achalasia. Clinical features, depending on the type, could be dysphagia only with solids or solids and liquids both. Chest pain can also be present in some of the cases and the symptoms could be intermittent or progressive. Diagnostic tests depending on the type could be endoscopy and biopsy in carcinoma or peptic stricture and it could be barium swallow in the second step. For the neuromuscular ones, basically esophageal manometry is the golden choice followed by barium swallow. Motor dysfunction could be achalasia, scleroderma, and diffuse esophageal spasm. Clinical features include dysphagia with solids and liquids, it could be intermittent or progressive, and chest pain can be present in some of the cases. Diagnostic tests could be esophageal manometry, which is the first and golden choice, and barium swallow could be the second option. Here you can see a long list of differential diagnosis of the etiologies of dysphagia. The way we can narrow down our differential diagnosis is asking proper questions in terms of accompanying symptoms, age, smoking, alcohol consumption, past medical history, medication history, and constitutional symptoms. The complications could be aspiration pneumonia, dehydration, malnutrition, and weight loss, regardless of the etiology of dysphagia. There are a variety of treatments, but the choice of treatment highly depends on the cause. Treatment could be medical treatment, including calcium channel blockers and PPI in a spasm, or nomadic dilation, or surgical myotomy in achalasia, it could be indefinite PPI and surgery in scleroderma. It could be endoscopic dilation in webs and rings. It could be chemotherapy, radiotherapy, stent surgery, or combination of all four carcinoma. Or in neurologic disorders and peptic stricture, 
we can manage the underlying cause with controlling the symptoms with medication. Regardless of the etiology of dysphagia, there are some key questions that we have to ask from each patient. The first question is the timing of dysphagia. Is it in the beginning or middle or at the end? Is there any associated symptom like regurgitation, changes in voice speech, or weight loss? Is there um, dysphagia to solids, liquids, or both? Is the dysphagia intermittent or progressive? Is there any history of heartburn or reflux? Is there any change in eating habits or diet? And is there any unintentional weight loss present? Now let's get, get back to our case and see how we can approach this case. The single word progressive or from solids to liquids is the most important clue to the diagnosis of esophageal cancer as well as the age of the patient. There are some red flags or alarm symptoms which indicate endoscopy, weight loss, blood in stool, and anemia. The key points are in the esophagus, only cancer and barred esophagus are diagnosed by biopsy. For cancer, radiology is never the most accurate test. You have to look for age, if the age is 50 or older. Is the dysphagia progressive? It means that first for solids and then followed by the liquids. Is there any association with prolonged alcohol and tobacco use? And are there more than 5 to 10 years of GERD symptoms present? In terms of diagnostic tests, endoscopy is the golden choice, since only a biopsy can diagnose cancer. Barium swallow might be the best initial test, but no radiologic test can diagnose cancer. CT and MRI are not enough to diagnose the cancer, because they are only to determine the extent of spread into surrounding tissues. PET scan is also used to determine the anatomy of the lesion and can often be used to determine whether a cancer is resectable or not. Local disease is resectable and widely spread metastatic disease is not. Treatment options could be no resection or no cure at all, chemotherapy, radiotherapy in addition to surgery, and stent placement used only for palliative purposes and help to improve the dysphagia and the symptoms. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.